What do we do with unexpected news? Well, like Mary, we go talk to family, we talk to friends, we talk to people we trust, and say, how do we, what do we deal with this? This was unexpected. I have a, a fellow in my class, I think he's in his late 40s, who uh, came to my class in Machias the first night, and he looked exhausted. It was so bad, finally, he spoke up and said, uh, well, I have to let you know I had only slept about three hours in the last 16 days. And I said, why on earth is that true? He said, I don't get more than two or three hours a night for the last 16 days because unexpectedly, after trying for 25 or 30 years, my wife and I have just had a baby. <laughs> and at the age of 48 or 49 years of old, age of age, he's been given a gift. They tried everything known to human beings to, get, uh, to have a child for 25 or 30 years of marriage. And when they did not expect it, it showed up. <laughs> Life certainly was happening while they were making other plans. I cannot imagine having to tend personally for the first time a newborn baby at the age of 49 or 50. And I got news for you, this is not like the old days, guys. Men are involved when the baby cries at night. It's no longer the, like the old days where you turn over and say, would you please take care of that? No, sir, we are involved with this stuff. <clears throat> I can't imagine that gift. But he was so thrilled. And there was nothing, no tiredness that could, could, that could dissuade him from the joy of seeing something happen that they wanted to see happen for 30 years. So it is with you and with me. When we think we have it all together, sometimes thinking our life is sort of over and we can just kind of coast the rest of the way, opportunities come to us and knock on the door. It's like a little angel standing there saying, I've got good news for you. <laughs> you think you know what you're going to do, but I've got some great news. And some source of inspiration hits us. Now, I know there are people who would like to argue about whether it was really an angel or what it was. But you know, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews to be careful how we treat strangers. For some of us have entertained angels unaware. Sometimes there are angels who appear in our lives in human form, giving us opportunities. And like Wendell Berry said, they often come in the, in the face of friends or books well met. And what you may think is just a little nothing, perhaps a, just an occurrence, or happenstance can be a great announcement for something new being born in your life or in my life. It can be birth out of tragedy, the great myth of Phoenix rising up out of the ashes in Greek mythology is a perfect picture. It illustrates again that when God is working with us, even what seems to be the worst of circumstances, new life can come out. That's the message of Advent. That's the message of the Christ that we are expecting at Christmas time. Every season, we are reminded that you can begin and I can begin again. And out of the worst, we can make it the best. I'm so glad Mary made the choice to say, so be it unto me, thy servant. And when we go with the flow that life has given us and the gifts and the opportunities to turn around, to make good with our lives, to pick up, which is the hope of the gospel, and say, yes, I will continue to make a difference in the world. What will be born in us as a result of our trusting that God is with us will be miraculous. She was told, you'll call his name Emmanuel from the prophet Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. We lit those candles this morning, Peyton, of hope and faith, anticipating Christmas coming.
because we know that something new is about to be born in your life and in mine. Whatever you are given, turn it positively into a creative act in the world. Your world will be a better place because you did so. Amen. Amen.